Technology development is at the heart of the European Space Agency. All ESA missions receive technology and engineering support on the ground, and quality assurance is an important part of a mission's success. To ensure quality management, member states and European industry use the laboratories and test facilities at ESTEC in the Netherlands, be it vibration tests for the Bepi Colombo mission to Mercury, or simulating the separation shock between launcher and spacecraft. Innovative technology is essential, and while the Prober 2 spacecraft may be small, at less than a cubic metre in size, it has a big impact. Launched in 2009, a year after the last ESA ministerial, it has demonstrated 17 new technological developments and four science instruments for new missions. And when the microsatellite Prober 5 launches next year, it will track vegetation growth worldwide and do in-orbit demonstrations of new key technologies. What we also do is making sure that our suppliers can be independent from foreign countries when they have to produce their subsystems for our missions. And this is the European Component Initiative. This is a key initiative because your electronic components are the building blocks of every satellite we make. The European Component Initiatives over the past uh, few years has been able to turn Europe from a net importer of components into an exporter of components. And we have to go beyond this in order to be able to produce more elaborate, more high value components for the future. Proba 2 is also studying the sun and the effects of space weather, as solar flares can affect satellites, disrupt radio communications and power supplies. Plus, it's testing a new generation of solar panels, essential for many spacecraft. Space technology for energy has already proved itself on Earth with photovoltaics and fuel cells, and energy management is likely to be a new and emerging field for the future. I think my priorities are to maintain the capabilities in technology development of the European industry and in fact make sure that we're even more aggressive on the world stage. Uh, technology underpins everything we do in space. It is the basic building block of whatever we do and technology and innovation are the source of industrial competitiveness, so therefore are the basis of growth and jobs. ESA will devote increasing attention to the environmental impacts of its own activities, both on Earth and in space, through the Clean Space Initiative. And by working across such disciplines, ESA's technology will continue to innovate, while at the same time becoming more competitive and efficient.